What's up, Sag? So, um, I'm hearing mediocre. Like, it seems like someone does the least. Like, they don't, this person don't even try to, like, be a great person in your life, a good person in your life. I don't care if it's just a little boss, a, a friend, a mother, a father, a, um, a lover. This person just does mediocre things in reference to you. Like, they do the very minimum of what you allow. Like, I feel like there is somebody that you need to set boundaries with. You need to lay the foundation for these boundaries and let them know, like, hey, this is this is who I am. This is who I'm becoming. I'm not going to accept this. I'm not going to accept that. If people can't, um, if people can't accept it. Then, you know, they ain't meant to be in your life. Because people that's meant to be in your life, they're going to respect you. Like, I seen this um, this clip on Instagram the other day. And it was like, um, why do people just text, hey? You know, and and they like, because you allow them to. You know, tell them that you, make, you have verbal phone calls instead of texting, hey. You know, like that type of energy. So, it's, it's time for you to set some boundaries. Make people step their game up in their life as they deal with you. To let them know that they are dealing with an empress, an emperor, king, queen, whatever energy you in. You know, um, yeah. Because they're going to do only what you allow them to do to you in your life, okay? But either way, let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what's up. Beloved, what's up for the Sagittarius, please? Sadness. What's up with the sadness? Mm -hmm. So you have discovery. You have bittersweet. And you have enlightenment. So, in all of these cards, there are divine beings that's in the sky speaking to the human being on the earth. Beloved has been speaking to you about to how, how to change the way that these individuals, people, are behaving in your life. You are so spiritually connected, Sag, that... People are only going to do to you what you allow them to do. The minute you set those boundaries, the minute where you start raising your vibration to a point where, look, I'm going to need you to do this if you want to be a part of my life. Like, it's like, I don't know why it seems like with you, Sad, you're going to have to be straight and direct with people about what you expect. Because that mediocre, the way that mediocre energy was showing up, like these people are doing the least and able to be around you. Like, you gotta know the gift of you. Like, hey, you can't be around me being my circle with all that nonsense. Like, you gotta come correct. Don't come to my house without bringing nothing. Like, if you come to the door empty-handed, like, you might as well just stay out there. You know, like, it's those type of things that you need to start enforcing because there is either an energy or energies around you that are playing with your energy. And they are getting in around you, able to, um, <laughs> able to use your resources your finances your car whatever with without giving you much like they mm, i don't know just seem like just i don't know these people are just around look and then look at you overwhelmed hurt <clears throat> excuse me overwhelmed hurt tired wore down you know um um what is it called uh overwhelmed by other people and they stuff. Why is discovery here? Why is discovery here? Oh man, I, I hate to see this come back out. A ten of wands, like this is your head space. These are all the energies, people that's paying rent for free in your head, Sag. And you know what? These people have done mediocre things in your life. They don't care about how overwhelmed you is or how much you got going on in your life or how, how, what you're going through or how, or how you're going to pay a bill or whatever. These are individuals or a person that's literally, hey, if you're giving it, they're cool. Look, look at this. <laughs> and you know it. 
It's not like you don't know it because the, 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 um, the spiritual realm have been informing you of like what's killing your manifestation. Is what well, whoever these individuals are, okay, in these seven cups or whatever these situations are, in these seven cups that you need to put boundaries for. You need to go ahead and do it because how the hell are you gonna bring in anything? And you got so much already on your plate that you're trying to get through, okay? Yeah. Cause look, look how, look how these these manifestations are showing up in life. And t look, look at, look at what you're manifesting. Hold on, I'm, my camera. Oh Lord, if I don't get a new camera one day, okay. But look at, look at what's manifesting. When you are bringing forth manifestations, they're not coming in right. Okay, and this is what Beloved is trying to get you to put it into. Stop giving whoever these people is, this audience, like, there are different people in your life. There's some, I promise you, that seem like they room for you, draining the f*** out of you, okay? There's people up here that really don't like you, that's draining your energy, and they're watching what you manifest, and they know you ain't manifesting right, Sash. Okay? Yeah, stuck in the same position. Look, he ain't even changed positions. From the, from the place where he's the, taking uh, like all this stuff in all by himself to what he's manifesting and showing up as people. Like you you stuck because of individuals, okay? Why well, is bittersweet here? Wow. I wanted to pop out out of all kind of, oh my goodness. Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm. You got the moon. What type of manifestations are you bringing in with these? Like, look at what is manifesting in your life. You wonder why you're going through these energies and why you having these energies show up in your life, the five of pentacles and the five of cups. Because the manifestations, these other people are killing your shit. Okay? Yeah, you keep trying to manifest at this level as a page, right? And I'm trying to figure out who is this emperor in your energy? This is the person I'm speaking a reference to that's killing your manifestation. You better look at this card really good. I'm going to bring it up close, okay? You see who he's really sitting under? You see the energy? Look on top of his hat. Look around the, um, the, um, oh my goodness. Look around the chair, the throne. Look at what's to be signed on fire. Like all your, all your manifestations that you're trying to do with this, this person is killing them because the energy they're up under. Okay. You got a man. I don't know what's going on, Cap, why you are in this page trying to, um, trying to manifest around this emperor but this person is this person is skilled as hell it's gonna be hard to manifest with whoever this person is in your life is this a father figure is this a boss like who is this emperor that's showing up in your energy this is why your manifestations are being killed right here honestly you being weighed down by this energy okay Whoever that emperor represents for you, could be an Aries, could be a boss, could be a grandfather, grandmother, could be a, um, a um, lover, whoever it is killing your manifestations. That's why you stand in that energy. Manifestations coming up all wrong and whatnot. You manifest the things in your life you don't even want. Like, man, I asked for this. Why is this showing up? Why is enlightenment here? Oh my goodness. Wow, that's crazy. That there we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here's this enlightenment coming. And if this hasn't happened, this getting ready to happen. I don't know what the situation is. That beloved finna get ready to get your attention because there's that page right there standing in front of beloved. Okay, that's the page. 
Okay, beloved is going to come and give you some enlightenment on what exactly you need to do. Okay, so you might be stagnant for a minute or it may seem like you stagnant. But in the midst of this hangman energy, you getting that cold information that you need to get up out of whatever situation um, this is or get from around whoever this person is. Like if you don't get from around this person, this towers don't come. Okay. This person and they damn energy. You think it's a joke, don't you? Here you are. Right? You this is crazy. You see that that um red hood and that person throwing throwing out energy and whatnot? This is both of your energies. Like throwing up oh, man. So as you throw out your energy, throw out your manifestation, put your, 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 your what you want into the universe, this person is canceling it out in some type of way, canceling out what you're putting out. Who is this emperor in your life, okay? Because this person, it's like I said, they're skilled in their craft. Whoever this person is, man, you're not the only, the only one that they be doing this to. Like, they do this to a lot of people in their life. Friends, foes, uh, um, co-workers, girlfriends, boyfriends. Like, this person, I don't I'm trying to figure out how they be counseling that out. But see, Beloved is getting ready to give you that enlightenment. Okay, that whatever they've been doing to other people, that stuff is done. You finna level up. Whatever, where, whenever you come from the hangman energy, you finna sit down as this king of pentacles energy. But whoever this emperor is, I'm finna find out. I don't know. I, don't, I really want to know because this, in the spiritual realm, this is a... I don't want to say this person's a powerful person because you only got so much power, but this person knows spiritual laws and different stuff who is this emperor please to sagittarius who is this emperor this is like a um who's this em emperor please thank you this is someone who who thinks about you a whole lot in this King of Pentacles energy. This could be a spouse, a husband, an ex-wife. Uh, um, I don't know. This is somebody in this King of Coins energy. This is somebody you fell out with, but they haven't got over what you like did to them or what they perceive that you did to them. They still hold on to whatever it is that you did to them. Like they're not willing to let it go. And it plagues their spirit. It plagues their mind or whatever. So... I don't know if this is a situation where you guys have some monetary things in common, if it's a house or home, kids or whatever, but this person is not letting something go you did. This person is cold, though. This is why Beloved getting ready to step in, because this uh, Beloved know about this person. This person's an emperor. This person embodies the kings, the kings, all the kings and their spirit. This person knows exactly what they're doing. For a page to be trying to go up against this emperor, there's no competition. There's none at all. That's why Beloved's like, you know, I am. I am your, your protection, your hedge of protection, your peace, you know. I am. Whew, Lord, have mercy. Either way, Sag, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely check out BlackMadonnaHP.com and definitely get your Divine Masculine um, Truth Deck on Amazon. You can also find me there under Black Madonna HP. But until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care.